Imagine a place where you could see illness in the body and its electrical field before it became a serious threat to your life or well-being. That's what Dr. Harry Oldfield brings to the world of medicine and healing. His polycontrast interference photography device, known as PIP, has aided healers and medical doctors alike in diagnosing illness, mental imbalances, and more. PIP also allows us to look into an otherwise invisible world of vibrant, living, dynamic energy surrounding people, places, plants, and animals, even the mysterious subject of crystal healing. Crystals have been used in a more uh, ancient sense, in a healing sense, and the natural crystals that come out the ground have properties that affect the environment and properties that affect the human energy system. Can you tell us how you, what you observe? Well, um, I observed this with first with curling photography uh, in uh, the mid-1970s. Uh, and uh, I noticed that crystals had a field of their own that was very similar to a living field. But I couldn't be sure. It was only later with PIP, polycontrast interference photography, my other invention that was in the late 80s that came about first, that we saw anomalies in and coming in and out the crystals of energy forms, amorphous energy, amoeboid, and we have the film footage of all this, uh, coming in and out the crystal. Uh, and they seem to be behaving um, very intelligently. So it has its own consciousness, and if you interface its consciousness with our consciousness... They react. They react. And yes, indeed. Tell in the hands of healers, for example. Um, I had an Icelandic healer, and he could actually um, in Icelandic, they're called stainer folk, and these stainer folk uh, are, are, are energies in the st stones and crystals. And he was able to sort of ask them to come out, and they could move over the surface of the crystal. They even moved into his arm, and we have film footage of that. Absolutely rec fascinating. In fact, we'll talk to Dr. Daly a little bit more mm -hmm. about that oh, as well. Oh, he's because an expert he in crystals in his own right. He is. He utilizes them for healing, and to talk also about just the simplicity, because you're able to capture those images and and decipher them. And I watched uh, him work with some people yesterday, Indeed. and the energies coming from the crystals themselves. It's beautiful. Is magnificent, and the, I, I would think the sooner we can understand this isn't just woo woo this is a natural phenomenon Indeed. that has now you're validating ancient scientifically. people knew this when they held a stone they felt something there are people still with it of sensitivity when you, they held this crystals gemstones and um, then uh, it came about that uh, people wanted to adorn themselves put them on their bodies for ceremonial purposes later on thousands of years later, hundreds of years later, it got debased in the sense that people just wore them for jewelry and forgot what the purpose of them was. It wasn't just for their, their prettiness, their attractiveness. They were there to affect an energy state, to, uh, to keep uh, 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 our energies, in, help keep our energies in balance. Mm -hmm. To watch the full interview of the man who created this incredible technology, go to ConsciousMediaNetwork.com.